Baruch chapter 4 verse 30 Take a good heart, O Jerusalem, for he that gave thee that name will comfort thee. Miserable are they that afflicted thee, and rejoice at thy fall. Miserable are the cities which thy children served. Miserable is she that received thy sons. For as she rejoiced at thy ruin, and was glad of thy fall, so shall she be grieved for her own desolation. Whoever take away the rejoicing of a great multitude, and her pride shall be turned into mourning. Giving all praises and our glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahushai, Bahasham, Wokar Kodash. The honor to my teachers, the apostles, and the elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to the Hakim Rabbi that are sincere and serious to do any will. Of Yahweh, Baasham Yahweh Shai, Baasham of Kakodash, Second Peter chapter 1, verse 1 and 2 to you all. Yeah, everybody here, Kosha Banyamian from Great Millstone Barbados. Washington State now has another bug to worry about after murder hornets, gypsy moths, year of May 2020. This is a real thing, an invasion and potentially deadly species of giant hornet has just been found in the U.S. for the first time. So uh, this is the, the Asian giant hornet, uh, researchers call it the murder hornet, uh, has a venomous sting that can kill you know, a human if uh, it's, uh, the person is stung several times. They're also strong enough to puncture a beekeeper suit. So consider that. Uh, the hornets are more than two inches long have reportedly been attacking beehives in Washington state. Scientists do not yet know how they made it to the U.S. And that bee situation is dangerous as well because I know a lot of beekeepers who are struggling right now because the bee population is taking a hit and they're having a really hard time uh, taking care of those hives. So It's like we needed one more thing. Yeah, yeah, One more thing. Just right now. Yep, because what, well, you have the children of Israel enslaved. You see, so the Lord is basically fighting for his people. Add another giant bug to the list of things Washington State is working to handle right now. Earlier this week, scientists said they had spotted Asian giant hornets in the state and they still don't know how they got there. Now, there's another threat, a non-native gypsy moth. <coughs> Such a threat, in fact, that government, that Governor J. Inslee issued an emergency proclamation because of the creatures saying there was an imminent danger of an infestation of the plant pests in parts of Nomish country. All right. The threat is posed by both Asian gypsy moths and Asian European hybrid gypsy moths according to the proclamation. According to one government agency, the pest can cause major damage. Large Asian gypsy moth infestations can completely defoliate trees, according to the U.S. Department of Agriculture's Animal and Plant Health Inspection Service. This defoliation can severely weaken trees and shrubs, making them more susceptible to disease. Repeated defoliation can lead to the death of large sections of forests, orchards, and landscaping. Females can lay hundreds of eggs, according to the agency, which become caterpillars and munch through more than 500 different tree and shrub species. And because the moths can fly long distances, it's likely they can quickly spread throughout the country, the agency said. So Egypt is in trouble. Egypt is in trouble. Egypt is in trouble. The Lord said, let his people go. But you refuse to let his people go, boy. You refuse to let the lost people go. You don't care for us. You don't. You don't. You don't love us. You, you want to mistreat us. When you read the book of Judith, fifth chapter. Judith, the fifth chapter, the twentieth verse. 
right? You don't want to let us go, right? Yet you don't want to treat us fair. So you know what happened? The Lord Yah Bashim is sure going to intervene. Huh? <laughs> this is beautiful, boy. You see, the Lord is fighting, really fighting for us, man. You see? Right? So let me get a scripture here, man. Let me get a scripture here, man. All right? Second Ezra is the 15th chapter and 11th verse. In fact, let me start at verse 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy which I will put in thy mouth, save the Lord, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Verse 11. Right? But I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before. So it's modern day Egypt we're speaking of here. I will destroy all the land thereof. Egypt shall mourn and the foundation shall be smitten with the plague and punishment that the Mosai shall bring upon it. This ultimate plague is the ICBM missiles. You see? Right? They that till the ground shall mourn, for the sea shall fill through the blast and hail, and with a fearful constellation. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. So, yo. Yeah, you see? You didn't want to let your lost people go. You see? Right? So, the Lord's going to bring some plagues in this earth, man. Let me get another one here. Right? In the book of Exodus 8. You see? Right? And one. And Yahweh spit unto Moses. When you see the word Lord in all caps, the Hebrew word there is Yahweh. And Yahweh spit unto Moses, Go unto Pharaoh and say unto him, Thus save Yahweh, let my people go that they may serve me. And if thou refuse to let them go, behold, I will smite all thy borders with frogs, and the river shall bring forth frogs abundantly, which shall go up and come into thy house, and into, the, into thy bed chamber, and upon thy bed, and into the house of thy servants, and upon thy people, and into thy others, and into thy needing trolls. And the frogs shall come up both on thee, and upon thy people, and upon all thy servants. I tell you what on. Right? So this is what's gonna to happen to modern to modern to modern day Egypt. Let me prove that too. Right? You see? Right? God's gonna show his power in this earth, man, because you you heathens have misused us for far too long, man. Let me read Nehemiah 9 and 10 first and show the signs and wonders upon Pharaoh and that's gonna happen again. And on all his servants, yeah, his lawmakers, etc. And on all the people of his land, yeah, you heathens. And even two thirds of our own people. For thou knowest that they dealt probably against them, and you still do to this day. So that thou get thee a name as it is this day. Ecclesiastes 36 and 6. Show new signs. May other strange wonders glorify thy hand and thy right arm, that they may set forth thy wondrous works. Raise up in thy nation, pour out wrath, take away the adversary and destroy the enemy. Set the time short. Remember the covenant and let them declare thy wonderful works. So yo, just a quick video to the spirit. Now you got this Delhi. Gypsy Moth along with the murder hornets. So more players coming from Egypt man. More players coming from Egypt man. And that is that's a beautiful thing boy because you refuse to let us go. You refuse to let us go boy. You see? You refuse to let us go. So what the Lord's gonna do, he's gonna show his power. He's gonna show his power and um Hey, that's what the Lord's servants praying for me. The Lord said, um, the Lord said to be patient, right? The Lord said to be patient. I think it's, um, here's the patience and the faith of the saints. Here's the patience and the faith of the saints.
Okay, right here they keep the commandments of the Mosai, right? So that's we, that's we wait patiently waiting for them to see the downfall of your heathens. You see? To the spirit and power of your Abba Hashem Yahweh Shai. You see? Kahalala Yahweh Abba Hashem Yahweh Shai. Abba Hashem Yahweh Kodash. Yeah, see that? Look at that. Yeah, that. Woo! <laughs> Shalom.